Okay, now that my little quadcopter flies, it is time to let it see. The first thing I'm doing here is building a gimbal that's going to hold the camera and hold the camera steady. So lots of parts and instructions in Chinese, but go out and find some YouTube videos and figure out how to put this thing together. Um, there it is. It looks pretty sharp. I'll hang that on the quadcopter eventually, but first, time for a test. Okay, gimbal test. Am I in the view? Yes, I am. All right. Holding the camera steady. And let's turn the sway the quadcopter. Of course, the quadcopter will never sway this much in real life, but. As you can see, turning the gimbal around, holds the GoPro pretty steady. Get some, just the minor movements of the quadcopter. Front, back, around, wherever I go, the gimbal holds the camera in a fixed position. Once it's on the quadcopter, I'll connect it to a switch on the transmitter so I can point it down and around in different places. But as it's pointing where I want it to point, the gimbal will hold that position and keep the camera uh, steady. Okay, the flying point of view system, FPV, or sometimes known as first person view. Got it uh, mocked up and running. It's uh, just a couple crazy wire connections, nothing permanent, just to uh, make sure everything's functioning. But as we look at this uh, back here is the uh, transmitter that will fly on the copter little mushroom antenna back here for some good reception. Um, here's the GoPro connected into the uh, transmitter. Um, transmitter is wired right now, again, just temporarily uh, through what they call a UBEC, uh, just to clean up the voltage uh, going into it. And then uh, again to a battery, which will eventually be the batteries that power the, the ground station uh, half of this. But again, this half uh, over here is the uh, half that goes on to the quadcopter. Kind of see the monitor in the background. Uh, I mean, if I move the GoPro around a little bit, you can see the, uh, the view in that monitor change. And if you look, uh, kind of the dividing line down in the middle here, uh, camera over here connected to a bunch of wires, but there are no wires going over here that connect into the TV. So that is transmitting, transmitting from uh, one mushroom antenna to the other mushroom antenna. So this uh, half ends up being what they call the ground station. Uh, this is the receiver for that transmission. I got it hooked up to a battery. This battery will be uh, the permanent part of the ground station eventually as I get it set up, uh, along with the monitor. So uh, to build this, uh, I'll put this uh, receiver attach it to the back of the monitor, take the monitor wiring, uh, clean some of all this up, run the receiver and the monitor into this battery, and then I'll have this all this set up on a uh, shoulder mount, a uh, pretty, pretty neat device, to uh, be able to view the monitor as I am flying the quadcopter. So, fun stuff, it all works. So now I'm ready for some airframe surgery. Uh, Got to put, uh, take uh, this bird uh, back here all apart to put all this uh, uh, stuff into it uh, along with the gimbal that's uh, not currently sitting here. And then we will be ready to fly and film. Huh.